The Elements Editor includes a ton of graphics that you can use to build projects from your photos. Let's take a look at the graphics that are available and how you could use them in your own projects. I'm beginning here in the Elements Organizer, and I'm going to scroll down and select an image that I'd like to use for my project. So you can use any image that you wish. I think I'll use this particular image right here. So with that selected, I'm going to click on the Editor button to open that image in the Elements Editor. Now, with this image open, what I want to do to get started is convert this layer to a regular layer. So I'm just going to double-click on that, and I'm going to call this Photo. Now, the first thing I think I'd like to do is add a nice background that I can put this photo on. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom and click on the Graphics button. Now, within this category, you're going to notice that this menu is divided into five main areas of different graphics that you can use. So I'm going to go to the backgrounds category, and there really are a lot. There's hundreds of backgrounds in here for you to choose from. What I'm going to do is go almost all the way to the bottom, and we've got these nice graphics that are like rays of light, if you will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, and you're going to notice that if you switch to your layers panel, it has now added that background as a layer to my project. Now, what you may see on occasion when you choose one of these backgrounds, like I'm going to click on the sunburst green, you'll notice it'll say downloading content. So what it's really doing is going out to the internet and pulling down that content on demand. So these don't live on your hard drive by default. You have to kind of click on them to pull them down so you can access them. So you will need an internet connection. Now I'm going to go back to my layers panel, and now you can see the green background has been added. So let's go back to graphics and click on the blue background. That looks pretty good. And now what we'll do is back in the layers panel, I'm going to click on my photo, and I'm just going to change the size of it a little bit. So with my move tool selected, I'm going to grab one of these corners, and if you want to, you can add the alt or option key to scale it from the middle. So I'm going to scale this down maybe to about right there, and then I'll go ahead and click on the green check mark. Now, if you recall from previous videos, if I click on this eye icon next to the background layer, it's going to hide that layer. And you can see that the photo layer now has transparent pixels. So I'm going to turn that on again. And if you hold down the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows and you click on this layer thumbnail, it's going to load the bounds of that photo as a selection. So what I'd like you to do, come up here and click on the Create New Layer button. And I'm going to double click on Layer 1 and I'm going to call this Border. And then up here at the top, I'm going to go to Select and choose Modify, and I'm going to choose Expand. And I'm going to expand this by about 50 pixels, and then I'm going to click OK. And all I'm going to do now is go to the Edit menu, choose Fill Selection, and from the Use menu, I'm going to choose White. And when I click OK, it's going to fill that area with white. And all I want to do is drag that below the photo area, and that now gives my photo the appearance of having a nice border on it. So you can now go to select and choose deselect if you want to. Now let's go back to the graphics panel here. And in this menu, I'm going to choose graphics. And you'll notice we also have frames and shapes and text as well. I'm going to go to graphics and I'm going to scroll up because we have some nice corners that I'd like to use for my project. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this photo corner black three. Just going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to download it and add it to my project. Now, you can scale this if you want to. Just grab one of the corners to make it bigger or smaller. And I'm just going to move this down, and I'm going to put it in this area right here. And if I click the green check mark, you can see that it now completes that transformation. Now, to make this easy, we could download each and every one of them if we want to. But I'm going to hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, and I'm going to click on this and drag it over here to the right side. And you can hold down the Shift key as you're dragging if you want to keep it aligned. And now I'm just going to hover over one of the corners, and as I start rotating it, I can hold down the Shift key so that it snaps. So I don't want to go too far here. That looks pretty good. Maybe make a small adjustment. 
and then click the green check mark and that looks pretty good. So we can slide that over if we want to. And if you notice this snapping going on, it's trying to snap this to other objects and you may or may not like that. You can come up here to the view menu under snap to and uncheck these objects that might make it easier for you to move them around. But that looks pretty good. I'm going to go to my layers panel and I'm going to select the top corner, shift click on the next corner, and I'm going to hold down alt or option again, and I'm going to drag up to make a copy of both of these corners. If I hover over one of these handles, I can now rotate this. And now I can click the green check mark and now I have the elements for the top as well. You can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge this if you need to. Now I have several elements here. I'm going to click on the border, shift click on the topmost layer to select them all. And now I'm just going to rotate the whole thing to give it a nice look on that background. Click the green check mark and we're done. So as you can see, there are a lot of graphics that the Elements Editor provides that create unlimited possibilities when working on your projects.